What is good, everybody, and welcome to another Sunday Teach to Skate, Learn Skate Freestyle with me and my friend Derek Elliott. Hi, Derek. Hey. Uh, uh, do, do a little bit about Derek. I, I've known him since, like, what? When did you go to the roundup? 2016? Yeah, 2016. But I actually was so, talking to you. Uh, we were going to go to the Philly contest. Do you know what happened? The, the air traffic control burned down in Chicago. Oh, that's <laughs> terrible. <laughs> <laughs> so... So I couldn't go, but yeah, so like, I remember we thought like you were like a driveway kid. We we're like, oh, this, this dude's got like all these handstand tricks. He's like going to be one of these like super weird, not weird, but like super nerdy, like skate kids. And we show, you show up to the roundup and you were like way cooler than everybody. You had like, I think you had like a, like chewing tobacco in and like you were like drinking beer and we were like, who is this guy? <laughs> and you slayed the contest. No, no, I definitely didn't slay it. I definitely made a fool of myself that time. No that way. Was so much fun, dude. God, that was so I remember you uh, you doing a TV stand sidewinder in the middle of your contest run, and then you beamed Per Wellender on the sidelines. I was so happy with that run, man. He's like, just like making me so much eye contact with Pear yep. after those yep. tricks. It was so sick. We were all I dying during that run. He looked at, like he looked back at me and I just read his mouth and he was just like, oh my god. He just like <laughs> put his head back. And I was just like, that's all I needed, man. That's all I needed. That's all I ever wanted. <laughs> Retired from contests after that. <laughs> Absolutely, man. Like seriously. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. So um, I, I just wanted to have you on just to like, because A, you're like, you're back and you're skating again. And, and B, because I enjoy hanging out with you and I haven't skated with you in a while. But I figured doing it with everybody else from the chat would be a fun time. So, uh, oh, absolutely, yeah. man. I don't know, man. If you want to, like, kind of just like, dork around and do some tricks, I'm going to just warm up a little bit because I'm still, I'm still waking up. Oh, yeah, that's uh, kind of filter it. That sounds good. I need to definitely stretch. Oh, I've learned yeah. that uh, stretching is definitely the most important thing if you want to be holding skate. I, I need to figure that out. Ben Carter. Ben Carter still holds the award for most viewed stream or, or most present stream. He's always here. I don't know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> Joe is good. UK is in full presentation today on here. Alex, what's up? Jay Waters, what's up? We got some East Coast guys on here. We got some street skaters interested in freestyle on here too, man. No way. Good buddy, Matt. Did I just start talking People. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> Getting a real, real macho man up in here. See if I can break in this board in the middle of a stream. Oh, yeah. Whew. I don't know. This tail might be pretty slow. We were just talking about how my tail, my board might be too steep, but I, I think I just might need to get used to it. Yeah, see, like, that's why I never liked, like, switching back to the first time. It's like, which is so different. I just like the game. Yeah. Yeah, I've been I've been struggling with that with my board. Like, I'm switching up my rides so much. It's, t it's tough for me to, like, decide on one thing to ride. But I'm constantly, I'm also constantly trying to, like, test new Walt stuff. Yeah. So sure. I never really, like, get used to anything anyway. It is what so is cold that? here. <laughs> this is the uh, anti-hero board. I forget who's on the front. But, like, the lane's walking. Really nice board. Ah. Nice. Oh. God, it's cold. Oh, that works. I'm going to do like, my usual warm routine. Do you have a warm up routine, Derek? Or do you just like barge it when you, when you go out? Like, no, like actual skate warm up routine. Like, I kind of just stretch and just make sure my body's like ready for it, you know? Yeah, totally. Ugh. I just fall a lot. That's my warm up routine. <laughs> God, dude, <I'm, laughs> it is so fucking cold. I'm freaking cold outside right now. I, I'm 
Carter says Poser can't even 360 carousel. I can't anymore. I wish I could still. I was 360 could. carousel. Oh my lord. Dude, that one guy, uh, I think his name is Rodrigo. Rodrigo. Yeah. He does a yeah, him and Marco. Marco, I think Marco's got the best ones. But I, there's so many people. Oh, Marco Sazi. Sassi. Marco Sazi. Anybody who doesn't know Marco Sazi, uh, get on YouTube, get on Google right now. Check it out. Amazing skater, like the coolest looking style you will ever see in freestyle. <laughs> it's just so bouncy. It's bouncy it is, body. man. Like that's what I love about it too, you know? Yeah. Okay, so what what have you been working on lately? What kind of tricks are you are you coming back with? Because you were you were gone for a minute, right? Dude, I was I didn't skate for almost like two and a half years straight, just because like I was so caught up in my own head with like I can't do it. I'm just going to keep hurting myself. So like finally, yeah. like go do it and like try it. It's great, but like the main thing I'm focused on now is just not bouncing. Not bouncing. On my truck transfers, I want to be like quick and snappy. Just like, I want somebody bouncing around and throwing. I can't remember who it was the other night. But I just looked at it and I was like, oh, I hate that. <laughs> I just I hate Pogo, man. I love Pogo's. I don't even. <laughs> don't get me wrong. Like, I. If you want to pogo, go do it. I'm not going to like say, like, hey, you're not a skater because you pogo. That, just because you get skateboarding. But just me personally, I hate pogos, man. <laughs> I dig it. I, I, think my, get it. I think my body looks so silly. Like, watch that for a pogo. <laughs> it's just like. Something just doesn't look right about that. I don't know <laughs> why, man. <laughs> okay, so. So what are you doing instead? Are you just trying to do your truck transfer straight out of Exactly. The so like with like my, my favorite truck to truck trick, this one right here, just like inner right to inner left. Yeah. Just simply going like up and over. Real quick, you know. First try. What but it was sloppy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, do you do you have any tips for just that first part? So you were doing the uh, the foot pull up to truck, right? Yeah, yep, that yep. I almost just went down on. Uh, do you have any tips for that one? So the way I learned it is, I would always keep half of my foot on the ground because I learned that like really so much harder. So if you yeah. put half your foot on the ground and then on the tail, it's really practice going like that. Literally up and over. Yeah. Just keep so going. So, are up. you. So, you're letting your, your left foot stay on the ground, correct? Yes, I'm going Just to get that motion. Gotcha. familiar with that. Pulling it up. And then, you know, once you get comfortable doing that a million times, try and jump up with it. You just jump right back down, you know? Yeah. So once you can do like, the, go ahead. Okay. Um, I'll say so you're, just, you're just trying to break it into pieces, right? You're trying to do that first half without even stepping up, just getting yep, used exactly. to having that foot pull the board up. Mm -hmm. yeah. And what were you saying? I totally cut you off there. I always like whenever I was learning freestyle, <laughs> I always thought like getting in the pogo, getting in the primo, and like all of the like the easy stuff was always so hard for me. It was just like really weird so just breaking it down like that was always like the perfect scenario for me you know like that chop it up chop it up into pieces exactly chop it up into pieces so this this combo right here is going on I told him I would do a new combo so straight up and Sean here it goes buddy I'll back you up alright here we go I'm probably going to have to bounce around if I land it all right, Jacob. Jacob England, we're gonna get your question in a minute. I wanna, I wanna let him knock out this combo first. We're gonna get to you. Oh, I love, I love his pogos. <laughs> we gotta talk about the P stand in a minute. If you're down, talk about the P stand. I wanna, I wanna get to that later. Say it again. Can you do the TV stand later? Can we talk about that? Oh, absolutely. We can talk about that all day, man. 
All right. Well, so, so somebody, else, um, Jacob England, asked about the um, the pull up to truck that you were doing. So that um, that foot pull, is that easier for you than doing the switch between your hands? Absolutely. Like, yeah. It's only because like I, so, like, I'm trying to think of how to word it. I'm just so used to throwing my board and catching it. All the time. So for you, yeah. it makes it easier to use both your hands and the board off your board as well, you know? Yeah, there you go. Yeah. It's I always just... found it easier to use my I found it easier to use my hands. Oh, like down here, like that, and then pulling it up. Yeah, that was what I first learned, but I like the look of the, the foot pull better. It's, it's I mean, like it's, I said, it leaves like, you more open. You're not bent over as much. Just like ha- like maybe even leave like only a quarter of your foot on the board and just get used to that. Yeah, doing that. Like don't even jump with it. Just leave your foot on the ground and just keep bringing it up. Yeah, it's cool. So you can do a bunch of stuff like that. Like you were showing us the us the like crazy. Whoa, was that a a sidewinder with the same foot? Uh, no, different. That was my. I did my. I used my last foot. Oh wow, cool. I need to work on those, man. Sidewinders are a weird one for me. They were always like easy and they came to me so quick. Oh, does that count? I hit a oh, stick. I, I was looking at chats. <laughs> Put on the chat Sorry, here. Man. <laughs> no, you're good. I think I, I got one. I'm happy with that. Haven't done one of those in a minute. Yeah. Truly believe so many kind of steps make so much so much more accessible to learn. Yeah. Uh, I was talking to Sarah Park, who I had on the stream a little while ago. We're talking about ways to kind of break tricks down more. And create more new learning steps, and how uh, that opens up like new tricks. Like I don't know. Oh, absolutely. Derek, do you follow Mo Monica skates or Monica skates? I think she, so. She does like comics as well, the freestyle comics. Oh yeah, she yeah, was yeah. Doing, I just recently started following her. She is rad. So she was doing uh, these like Caspers out of rail stance. She'd go into rail, and then she couldn't quite get like a Casper drop to rail. Like the uh, traditional one, like that. She was doing like step offs, like that. Oh, it was kind of like its own trick. Oh, yeah. So like here to here to here. It's just all about doing? getting those muscles, like used to doing something that you've never done before, and that's like the perfect way to learn how to do that, right there, man. Yeah. I was that's thinking genius. like you go from that, and then you can like almost flip out. It's kind of like. Kind of an in-between like doing the rail flip to Casper, right? Yeah. <laughs> oh, that is so, so awkward. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like uh, breaking it down really helps open things up, open up new ideas. One thing I really want to get better at is definitely like rail flips. Yeah. Ah, oh, damn it. <laughs> Let's see. All right, I gotta, I gotta get that. Oh, we got in the car. Thank you, man. Let's see it. Damn. That's like one of those right, shirts that, that. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> no, no. What you saying is one of those tricks that I always wanted to learn, but I was never able to do whenever I was skating. Honey. Yeah. Uh, so Jack Lauer asked. <sighs> Uh, how do you do truck transfers? Been trying to land one but can't. Do you have any tips for the pictures? Or like what you do to break them down, perhaps? Say it again, I'm sorry. Do you have any tips for truck transfers? Which one specifically? Uh, I mean, well, you do the, the sidewinders really well, right? That's kind of like your go to, yeah. isn't it? That's my favorite any... trick, man. <laughs> What, what did you do to get into those? Like, did you just start throwing them one day and figure it out? Or was there, like, a progression for you towards learning the, the thrown truck transfer? I'm trying to think here. So, like, I always, before I learned those, this was, like, always my go-to thing. You know that pair of there for crap like this? Yeah. So, like, I guess, like, that kind of helped me in a way just 
getting used to like positioning my feet, jumping from one side of the board to the other side of the board. But really, all it is is just like yeah. commitment, like commitment. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. I, oh, I guess, yeah, commitment's the hardest part. For me, away. it was the carousel. Yeah, well, I I have a weird thing where I, I just like landing on the same foot. Like, jumping right foot to right foot for me is so much easier than switching feet. But, um, I don't know why. But, uh, I learned the carousel first. And for me, it was just getting this down. Getting that rotation. Like, I would yeah, just stand. Yeah, sure. Or, like, sit down on the bench and just do this all day. And just try to figure out how to, like get that pull, get that swing of the board. And eventually that so, turned into this one. Like doing kind of like a fake uh, half carousel. Yeah, yeah. So whenever, so I always do them, I do them this way. So when I was trying to learn them going the opposite way, the way I was practicing was keeping my, you know, my back leg on the ground and then literally just getting used to doing that. With my oh, okay. Hand. And you could do the same thing for doing them regular, you know, just get used to catching it with one hand. Because you're not going to be able to catch it with two hands over here. It's just going to, like, knock. You know? Yeah. Getting that hand on there must be the hardest part. Because that's a lot of flying stuff. There's stuff flying under you. You got to really, like, commit and be ready to, like, yeah. either to fall keep your eyes or on not it. catch it right. You just got to keep your eyes on yep. it. Yeah. Yep. Get the foot on the truck box. then after that. Yep. Cool. Let's see. Yeah, truck transfers are tough. I feel like getting uh, getting used to flipping off of the truck. So things like the uh, oh my gosh, things like the uh, like truck double finger flip or truck one and a half finger flip. Oh, see, those my, I never understood. I still really? can't do those. <laughs> Yeah, that made, man. That made truck transfer so much less scary for me because I felt like being able to like just jump off of, off of that foot and flip the the truck or flip the board on the truck. Yeah. Was a little less scary once I was trying to land back on the truck. That makes sense. Same with like this one, the double finger flip out. Oh. Yeah. See, I, could, I just for some reason I could never flip the board. Maybe it's because I'm using a bigger board too. You know? <laughs> yeah. Me. You gotta you gotta push it with your right foot. Really try to like drive it with that foot that's on the truck. Or sorry, not your right foot, the foot that's on the truck. Okay. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> you can almost like sidewinder it that way. <laughs> sidewinder flip. Be the Honestly. trick. Oh yeah, you got oh. it. You're getting so much height. That is, that is so easy. Oh, God, I feel like I'm like floating in the air. <laughs> <laughs> All right, right here. Right here. So sick. Let's see it. Oh. oh, you you could grab that too. You could like grab that with your other hand once it's flipped. I bet. You're getting so oh, like high. Metal All right, here we go. Here yeah. We go. <laughs> <laughs> I want to do that. I, I got to learn how to do that, man. That is let's cool. do it. Let's battle it. Here, I'll find one to battle while All you right. battle that. Let's just go for All it. All right, cool, cool. <laughs> Maybe I'll do a uh, tail double underflip to Casper. I haven't done that in a minute. It's going to hurt. Oh, it's gonna hurt. Ah, I was so close. Oh, that was it. I could tell. Yeah. Just keep pushing. I want to go from, from the nose to the tail. I want to go double flip to Casper. Hopefully this makes sense for the stream. 
good shot. So Derek's getting an anti-hero street board with Indies, I think, and motor freestyle wheels. We're over flipping it now. <laughs> I know, I don't get it. Right. He's next level. Oh! Man, feet on, just didn't make it happen. Oh, this is seriously Much disappointment. <laughs> yes. Are you good? Yeah, I'm good. All right, I gotta fall now. <laughs> Feel bad watching you fall this whole time. You got it? Oh, I think it was a slam. <laughs> oh man. Oh my gosh. All right, so I'm not going to battle this anymore because I don't want to bore people with my my junk. Bus driver, I can't stand indies. Why Why not indies? What are we What are we upset about, about indies? I don't really know what's, uh, what's wrong with any trucks anymore. See, Derek, I think we lost you here. I may have frozen. Oh, yeah, there he is. Hey. There he is. I got you're back. So uh, I had some people asking about bone breakers. Um, what do you think? You want you want to talk about bone breakers or TV stands or any of your signatures? So you got some pretty solid kind of good. What's, what's a bone so breaker? Mm. That's tail stop flipped to truck when you kind of mm. jump over the truck to the opposite foot. So that was the From first tail. truck transfer I ever learned. Really? Um. Yeah. <laughs> what? I was. A, I learned those before carousel. So the way I always practice moves was literally again. Like when I learn anything new, especially like stationary, I always leave half my foot on the ground. It just makes it so much easier with everything. Huh. So, so are you thinking about jumping moves, off the ground? So when you're learning them, yeah, man, jump off the ground. Like it's. It is cool. so much easier learning them. And then as you get better, like how I do them now, is I leave my whole foot on the nose of the board. And I always land on my tail because it's less you have to jump up. Yeah. So the way I learn these is just grabbing it, going like that. Just non-stop. I mean, like, I did it a million times in my driveway when I learned this trick. Just okay. That, catching it, catching it with my one hand, it landing where you want it to, and then once you can throw it down, every time you want to do it, like on the ground, start doing it, jumping up, but only catching the board. See what I mean? So you're, are you grabbing it with your fingers on top of the board? Yeah. Oh, sorry. I should probably show you guys how. No, I you're good. The board, huh? That's what I'm here for. That's what I'm here. For. I'm here for. Let me see this real quick. So your fingers are on the top so, yeah. of the grip, right? Like this, only my thumb is under the skid plate. And you're flipping it away from you like a heel flip? Um, let me see here. Can you see me all right? Yeah, I can see you. You're good. All right, so yeah, so you're flipping it, you're bringing it up and away from you just like a heel flip. Okay. So that motion again is like up and down. You're almost doing like a, like a wave. Yeah. If that makes sense. Let me show you. So you're just trying to practice that without your feet, right? Just throwing the board under you with your hands. Starting it right here, with your foot on the ground, and just just like that. Get used to it landing in your left hand. Get used to seeing where the truck lands. And then you can start. Yeah. 
Yeah. Cool. Oh, yeah. That was when I recently, but I, again, because I do that on my back foot, I usually jump off my back and onto my back. I learned how to go up and over and land it on that foot. And I think I actually did it with my thumb on top. You do it like with your that. thumb on top. Yeah, that's how Sean, Sean taught me, or Nick. I don't know, one of them taught me that way. But I would go up and over and land switch-footed. Oh, that almost looks cooler, though. It was fun. I mean, I, I just have a weird front foot, so it's hard for me to land on my front foot on truck transport. Yeah, yeah. I've got no better excuse <laughs> than that. But, I mean, but, uh, once you get, yeah. once you get that motion and it, it's, again, it's just committing. And just committing. Like looking at it, watching where it goes. <clears throat> and, and I think it's important to, to realize people watching this, like, there are a lot of steps to this like it's not just that you're you're whipping the board throwing it and it's all in motion you're jumping you're doing that alley-oop lift with your front hand and then you're trying to catch and stop step at the same time so yeah. like you can't you have to kind of break it down and think about that jump before you start even rotating the board and really think about breaking down these chunks we're talking about like learning how to throw the board on its own learn how to do things like finger flips or flip tricks off the tail uh, that will get you used to that jump and flip mechanic all of that needs to kind of happen before you really dive into committing to a uh a bone breaker i think um did you, did you have finger flip? oh yeah do you have finger Again? flips before you learned these could you do finger flips before you could do those like tail stop finger flips yeah except i always did them like Just because you hold yours here, I do like yeah. this. Like, ah, oh, cool. Like that, you know. So the grip, the fingers in the grip tape. The fingers in the grip tape. You know? that, that's always like. That's cool. I never get like the whole. It's just so weird to me. <laughs> I can do it with the primo. <laughs> yeah. I feel like everybody has a slightly different way they attack uh, finger flips. I like seeing that. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see. Derek needs to compete again. I agree. We need to see. We need everybody to compete again. We need this uh, <laughs> pandemic to be over, honestly. Uh, I so I'll probably, I'll comments. definitely, oh no, go ahead, sorry, Mike. No, no, go ahead, I was reading comments. You definitely. Oh, I was going to say, I'm definitely going to start trying to make an appearance at contest, but I probably won't going to skate in them. I just, I really want to come just for the community, man, and just to hang out with everybody and treat it as a vacation, you know? Yeah. I have no interest in contests. Like, I'm having more fun than I've ever had on a skateboard, and I have no intentions on changing that. Like, I love that. I don't give two whatever you want to say about sponsors, <laughs> contest, whatever, man. I'm having fun just posting videos again. Okay. That's awesome. Oh, uh, and uh, Bus Driver says, if you need to skate until send you some. Nice, man. Say who, it again. Who is Bus Driver? He says, uh, if you need actual wood skid plates, he can send you some. Oh, that is awesome, man. I make the most ghetto looking skip plates you've ever seen in your life. <laughs> Look at that, dude. That's I really use just screws man. to hold them in, man. It you works, though. I love it. Oh, dude, I, my fingers, fingers are boys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, same. What a uh, heel okay, stash. So... I'm a working man. What can I say? <laughs> so. So okay, so we were talking about the transfers. Are you are you good to do some some uh, handstands too? Because I feel like what I oh, first yeah. knew about you is that you were the handstand guy. You could do like every variation of like a TV stand or a gymnast plant that I ever saw. Are, are you good to kind of teach people like some tips and tricks, some like some some keys to the handstand game? Oh, absolutely. I'm gonna tell everybody right now. If you're doing handstands, the most important thing to do is build that core. 
anytime you ever push into a handstand, strengthen that core and suck it in, man. Don't be like me and do handstands wrong and rely on your chest and your arms. Then you're going to have a messed up back at 24. So, um, biggest thing is core. Yeah, dude, I blew my back out. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, I still got a nerve bundle that's messed up that won't go away and all oh, the other geez. stuff. But luckily, I have an amazing girlfriend that trains me. So, um, I'm going to... Man. Oh, Caroline. Uh, what, let's see here. What um, what handstand, what handstand trick do you guys want to learn first? Let's see, who, who do you want me to talk about, about first? Um, I think, I mean, I think uh, gymnast plant is who people go to first. Gymnast plants are kind of like they were my entry into handstand tricks, and also the last thing I learned on my hands. So maybe you can teach us those. Do you do them? Did you learn them from bowling? Or from uh, rail. <laughs> from rail. Rail's the way to do it, man. Rail. Yep. And then... Oh, down. What's the trick? Right, Since so you just had it actually. I learned it was just simply like being able to do handstands without a skateboard. That's the most important thing, other than straightening the board. But, I mean, really... <laughs> The way I keep like the machine doing them is literally turning my whole body and then being in line with the board. So you're lining up your shoulders to the board, square. Yeah. So like this way. And then turning and then basically being the board's in front of you now. So that way when you turn the handstand, it's just like on flat ground and then you grab it. Okay. Where where are you grabbing the board? Or like where are you putting your hand down? So if, if I'm looking at the board this way, are you trying to plant your hand in front of the truck, next to that front truck, or behind it? Like Let me see this real quick. Yeah, can you can show I us turn the camera around? around? Uh I think so. Huh. So now let me do it. Alrighty, so let me see here real quick. <laughs> <PLV. laughs> I don't think this is gonna work, man. You see it all right? <laughs> yeah, we can see it. <laughs> all right, so when I grab the board, <laughs> great. what I do is I bend down and grab it right here in the middle. Fingers oh, towards the graphic side, hand. thumb on the grip. It's always my right hand. So where's your left hand going? Your left hand is going on the ground, correct? On the ground, yes. And is it going to be really close to the board, far away from the board? Is it kind of closer to the front trucks, in front of the front trucks? So I my handstand right here. And you look down and put away from the board. So put away from the board? The handstand, your hands are like almost parallel with your shoulders. So think yeah. about it the same way. Parallel with your shoulders, and then just bringing it up. So then, if the board is here, are you grabbing, are you putting that hand down before the wheels, like in the middle of the deck, closer to like the trucks or in front of the trucks? In the very middle, yep. right where my middle, other like, hand is. Yep. Oh, uh, okay, you okay. You don't want your, you don't want your hand like this. You don't want them like this. Because then you're just going to like throw yourself off. <laughs> I cannot figure out this angle. You don't want them like this because that's just an awkward <laughs> handstand. You want them parallel just like a normal handstand. Okay. Cool. Oh, this is helping people. I've never... Jeez. Love that shit, man. <laughs> I remember doing doing one in a contest, and one of the judges straight up told me after the contest, "Don't do those in contest runs anymore," because mine were so bad. <laughs> I was like, "Straight." <laughs> That's terrible, though. <laughs> it was great. He was being honest. I really appreciated it. So then, like. Going back to like how you said, you know, you break down tricks. Once you do that, then you can turn it the rolling trick. You know, you can do a rolling gymnast plant with the same thing. You know what I mean? You, I, no, I don't know what you mean. Can you show me? <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. So when I, when I do my gymnast plants while I'm rolling, I always roll in fakie just because it was always one of those things where it's like you're already falling forward when you go into it. Like backwards, I guess you could say. That doesn't make sense either. Let me just show you real quick, okay? Oh, 
Oh man. So you're you're going into it. That's really interesting. So it's not like a yoga plant. Dan, Dan was talking about that. <laughs> I know, I, that's why I had to say something, man. I love yo-yo plants, but god damn do I hate trying to learn them. It's like, oh. Demonetized. There we go, everybody. We did it. We, fi we finally got demonetized into, into extreme. There we go. That was good That was awesome. So you're getting up on that hand before you even pull the board. It's fully a one-handed handstand. Oh. He's so good. That's the only one trip I got. <laughs> yeah. So, core, back, get your abs, your back. Trunk all, all kind of strong is a big help for that, you said. Making sure that you have the strength so you're not going to destroy your back doing handstands. It's just um, like, I see so many... Oh, no, go ahead. Sorry, I keep calling you off. No, no, no. I'm terrible at that. No, dude, keep going. Go off. This, this is your moment to go <laughs> off, dude. Um, I see a lot of guys on the internet doing handstand tricks, and it's like, they're amazing tricks, but, like, I see your back's arched. If you got that arched back, man, you're just you're asking for pain, dude. So it's just like... Yeah. I don't want to say, like, if you can't do a correct handstand, don't do it, because who am I to say? You do whatever you want, man. It's a skateboard. But you got to really watch your body and really listen to your body. You don't want to be like me. <laughs> <laughs> so what's what's the hardest part about coming back from that injury? You were saying that you, you spent, what, like, almost two years off your board because of that. What's been the hardest thing uh, about, about returning to skateboarding? Uh, just it all being in my head, like thinking like I used to have these tricks on lock and now I'm struggling yeah. out here just to learn a simple like M80, you know, and yeah. it just like it drives me crazy. But at the same time, I have to just sit and think and I'm like, you want to know what? Again, I'm having more fun than I've ever had. This is all right. You know, like there's, it doesn't matter. Who cares if I suck? So I'm having fun and that's <laughs> all that matters. You definitely don't <laughs> suck. And, and if you did, we would tell you, be really honest about it. Uh, I really hope so, man. I oh, that's that's the biggest fear right there is people not being honest. <laughs> no, we got you. Oh uh, man. Well, yeah. So, so who else in the chat? Let's get some more comments, more questions. I feel like the funny thing is the tricks that I've seen you do, the tricks that I know you're like your signature. There are your signature tricks are so advanced. I worry that we're kind of over people's head right now teaching like gymnast plans and. Uh, and truck transfers like these. I mean, these are incredible tricks, but they're things that I think uh, some of the, the chat might might not be ready for. What like basic freestyle tricks do you feel like were were game changers for you? Like you said, rail stand and, and, and truck stand. But were there other tricks yeah, besides um, those two that really like changed how you looked at freestyle? I'm gonna have to say, I want to sound like such a hypocrite because I said I hated pogos, but like pogos, pogos, <laughs> Caspers, dude, like. When I learned those two tricks, like those were the first kind of tricks that I've learned. And then I was just like, oh my God, like there's so much more I can do to this. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like that's how I learned how to TV stand. I don't know if you remember like all the old videos that I posted, but I would always start. And then no. I would pull my board up and then go up. And it was like <laughs> those two tricks opened up everything for me, man. Yeah. It was just like, but I guess that was also like my own kind of like tweak on like freestyle because nobody was ever doing Casper's or TV stands or like, you know, stupid stuff like that. So like to me, it was awesome. We loved it. I, that's like that's some of my, my favorite combos is like, yeah, the stuff you just don't expect because no one, no one really puts those two together in, uh, in the average routine. Well, so, so what about Casper? Like, do you have any, do you have any tips for getting out of Casper for people who maybe are struggling with just just getting the standard oh yeah variation down i would i mean i would just, just like how you just started you know like start with the board just right here and just try and go like that you know yeah it's really like the killing asper is both of your feet just different ways like you're kind of going like like that with it, you know almost like a um it's just like stupid both of your feet, push 
scooping. Well, actually, no, let me rephrase. You scoop your back and you push your front. Gotcha. Up and over, or, uh, over under type thing. Over, exactly. A weird Did, uh, let's see, what's he gonna do? Nice. So when you first learned Caspers, did you learn them with your foot down? I did, yes. I learned them just like that. Little, I don't even think the name of it. You know, like, I would just, I would get right here, walk up to it, and just go. Oh, cool. Bus driver says, I just thought it was weird that I, can, I can't do handstands off board. Uh, I only learn them off the rail, uh, but again, mine were never all that great. Casper's, yeah, I mean, Casper's was such a game changer. I think, like, let's just say that and Pogo's kind of made it feel like I was a real freestyler when I started doing them too. That and footwork. I think footwork is such a, a, a big one as well. I, um,. I think footwork is awesome. I used to hate footwork, dude. Yeah. But now, like, all these guys coming out with, like, different styles. Like, Eric Lowey, man. That guy is a power yeah. house, man. When he does this footwork, I'm just like, why? Why does that happen, man? Like, it is so smooth. used to hate it. Now I love it because of that guy. Because <laughs> of Eric, yeah. yeah. Man, Lowey's sick. That sweater is, too. It'll be sweater season for oh, him. I'm so jealous Except of those, that. Oh, those sweaters. <laughs> You gotta get me some, man. You got a uh, Casper three shoves? Oh, I got Casper three shoves. See it. Oh, I'm gonna move my camera. So what I do with those, I just look out and scooping it more with my back foot. So like that over under we were talking about of a regular Casper. All I'm doing to change that for a Casper three shove is I'm trying to scoop more behind me with my back foot, my, my tail foot, while pulling forward with my front foot. It's, it's as simple as that. And just trying to get that over rotation tends to throw the board into a shove it. Into a shove it, I mean. Oh. You just have to like play around with the angle. What up, man? Chill. Good, man. I'll talk to you in a second. I'm just in the middle of something. What's that? Oh, yeah. Hey, man. Have a good day. Thank you. Uh, what's up? Do you do anything different with the foot that's on the board? We're losing your audio, boss. There's no idea. Yeah. No, you're good. Can you hear me now? Yeah, I can hear you now. Perfect. Um, but no, what I was saying is when I do them, I don't do anything different with my front foot. I only scoop my back foot harder than doing it normal. Ah. But that's just me. I see. Did you do anything I to, do to change it up? Foot? That time I didn't, and I landed it. So I think maybe I need to take your, uh, your advice here. So you now, like, when, the, you uh, try, <laughs> when you do those and you go from a 360 flip out of Casper, that's when you want to really like mess with your front foot, right? Uh, yeah. I mean, I, that one's a weird one for me because I tend to have to change my my positioning too. For Casper three shoves, for me, my back foot's square. But whenever I'm trying ah. to get more of a rotation 
with like a flip, I have to kind of turn my my front foot a little bit to get a different angle, different rotation gotcha. out of the board. So I, I have to switch it up. That's like when I do the when I try and do the Casper, like Casper this way, the Primo. Yeah. I literally have to like have my board like tilt it. If I try and go into it like this, I can't get into rail. I have to literally have it like up on its end. Yeah, same. That's like it's yeah. super weird. I did that Casper three to Casper a little while back. I don't know if I can do it now, but that was the same thing for me. I had to be like really on that edge and kind of on like the the toe side edge of the the nose, I guess, before uh -huh. I really got the, the scoop for that same reason. I don't know. I'm not about to battle that one on a new board. <laughs> <laughs> That ain't me. I tell you what I do. I tell you what I do want to battle is that freaking Vaughn Johnson trick where he goes like around his arm. Yeah. I don't understand that, man. I don't understand. How do you not get like, that? That's like such a Derek trick. I'm so, I'm shocked you can't do it. I just can't get the motion, man. Like I don't. I'm dumb. <laughs> Watch Vaughn's freaking tutorial on how to do it like step over the and I still don't understand. You got this. I kind of want to see this now. I want to see you battle it. So, he's talking about that. <laughs> That's almost it. Double. It's so wild. Here we go, here we go. Oh my god, I almost just hit myself. Oh. <laughs> like oh. It's scary to look at. It's scary to watch you do. Go watch Munster 1990, says Nelson. I can still hear that song in my head. Someone tells to watch the Munster 1990 video. Oh my so that, god. The one with that like that terrible song. Yeah, Baby school yeah. alive. <laughs> no thanks. I'll pass. <laughs> god, that is a good video. Time for music, man. <laughs> Just mute it. Just oh. mute it and put on something else. Oh he got it. That one felt so good, dude. I do like sound effects on this when people land stuff. I can just have like burr, 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 like air horns and stuff. <laughs> and land that would have been a good moment for it. Dude, that was so dude, good. I'll just. I'll come on every live feed and just like block my camera off and I'll do all the sound effects for you. <laughs> <laughs> like radar from uh, <laughs> Academy or something. Yeah. Oh, yeah <laughs> Now, Vaughn, oh, that man. would be something that I... I think I could do that out of, like... Ah, dude, I don't know, man. Like, that's... This is a Terry trick. Oh. Pogo? Dude, like, go in the Pogo and grab it and then do it and land it back to Casper. That's something there, man. If you could go back to Pogo, if, if you do that for Pogo... Back to Pogo, I will give you a hundred dollars. I'll send you a check All right, here we go. for a hundred dollars. Oh, <laughs> I'll give you. I'll give you a week. You, you come back to me from the video. I'll send you that check. You got the chat here to keep me uh, keep me accountable. <laughs>
was terrible looking. That was so good. Maybe, maybe you could do it from like... Oh! Dude, these are great. You know what that jing is playing with like a million flips? Get out of here, man. He can't. Get out of here. <laughs> All right, I think that's a good. It's a good point to end on. I feel like I feel like we've really made some progress, hey, Derek. <laughs> <laughs> I think so too, man. I had a blast. Thank you for letting me do this with you, man. Yeah, thanks for being on. Do uh, you have any any last words? Any any shout outs or uh, shameless shameless plugs you want to make to the chat before we end it? Um. Yeah, man. Just like all the youth freestylers out there keep it going because you guys are what's keeping me stoked like seriously it, it just like it makes me feel like a dad that made like a really good son even though i had nothing to do with it like i was in jail and the wife did everything you know what i mean like you're that wife mike and it's just awesome it is it's unbelievable um i think i'm touched i don't know that was, that was something i guess i'm honored um, all right, everybody who hopped on to be in here, Derek, thank you for being amazing and for, for beating yourself up in the cold to do these tricks. Hey, um, I love it. Yeah, keep dancing, keep being good to each other, keep taking care of each other, everybody. Be safe, and uh, we'll see you next week for another one of these. Later. Bye, everybody.